all right so welcome to part three of creating a hidden castle with blender 2.8 so this part is going to be the last part and we are going to talk about the method two how to achieve it so we are going to create a a simple scene and i will use that to explain how it works and the effect you can get from it then we go into the actual project actual um, tutorial and i show you the result i had for the first method we did create um a cloud using using the displacement so let's do that very fast um all right so we use a cloud then we decrease something like no something like all right so something like this so let's move this and add subdivision to it all right so that's what we are having so let's go ahead and add um, a material to it and we are going to use just a volume scatter let's add the sun all right let's take a a quick preview and see so um this is ev let's switch to cycles no this is cycles all right then we have to increase the sound to i'm going to add um hide the environment so that we we could see the cloud only and all right so let's hide the lamp so this is what we had in the previous tutorial which is the method one but for the second method like i said in part one we are going to use the first method to come up with the second method so, so um like most tutorials um when you want to create a custom cloud you use the um, you use displacement to generate the shapes you want then you add a volume scatter but have you ever thought of using those shapes or using those model or the cloud you have created using a smoke simulation on it or baking a smoke out of it in that case making it a flow for a smoke all right so this is the finished image and if you take a look at it um especially the tip or this side of the cloud you can see there is um, a little blur or some color gradient or some color shift there and even the way the shadows are being shown on the clouds are different than what we were having and also like the place which is closer which is um, close to the sky or close to the sky color you can see the color at the tip like the gradient or the blur over there and see the blur over here so um they are actually having some values it's not just one value we give to the shader but um, a cloud have different values based on based on its position so um after knowing all this after knowing this i thought about it and that's what gave me the idea of coming up with the method too so i and uh, doing a lot of tests i noticed the best way to get a very realistic cloud is using um, a smoke simulation all right so i'm going to add a cube and place it here and then i will scale it up you are going to set this cloud as the smoke no as the smoke flow and one cool thing is we don't need um, we don't need to bake a lot of frames for this we just need at least two frames just two frames will actually end up giving us almost like 80 percent of the exact shape of the cloud so um we we are going to add a domain to this cube let me first play and see what we have here all right so this is what we have so let's 
Um, um, I will choose maybe 100 for this. Smoke high rise. So for now we are going to leave it at 1. Alright, so now let's make and see the results we'll be getting. So we are just going to choose something like 5. Alright, so pick. And we are done. So, so let's move to 2. Let's preview and see what we will get here. So we need to assign um, a shader to this cube. Alright, so we have to use a density. Um, attribute. <laughs> Alright, so it's it has to be in small letters. And let's hide the sphere so that we see only the result of the um, so we can add a multiply to make the cloud a little bit um, so you can see now we are getting a very nice result using just this sphere so this is what we are getting you can see it's, we are getting the right the right shadows compared to what we had on the sphere so this is um all right so i have to i have to select the sphere and then So this is the first method and see what we get from the second method. So you can see the second method is way better and and is more realistic. So um, with this trick or with this knowledge you can create a very cool scenes, um, cloudy scenes uh, with this and it's very simple. You just you don't need to do a lot of settings. All you need to do is all you need to do is something like this, just the density and they said you are cool you have a cool looking cloud all right so let me take you to the project the tutorial we're working on show you the result i had all right so so this this the clouds we created in the previous part so i made um firstly um i I applied all the particle system and I joined them together so the, the cloud each big cloud was joined together with the particle system so you can go ahead and apply the, apply all the particle system and join them together I also added um, this um, sky which I created using no so I have the link in the, de the description so it's just a procedural sky and you can use it all right so um, I then apply so in the camera view this is what we have in the camera view so I added another cube all right so here is the cube um, I think it's this one so these are the settings I use 150 um, what else smoke um, adaptive domain um, so I use the collection so I created a collection and named it atmosphere so I use that collection instead of using objects I just made a collection so it will be easy to just select objects so I use a collection then I use that as as the flow so this collection and all these clouds are in this collection so I use high res high resolution and the division is 2 
so you don't need to do um, a very difficult setting so it's just the basic stuffs this is the result I had so you can see it's looking even without rendering it it's looking not bad you can see how um, realistic is looking even just just in the viewport even just in the viewport so this is a very good way to get a realistic results if you are going for very realistic scenes this is very this is a very good way and so this actually we're almost done with the tutorial so this is the, um, the second method and is um, is building on the first method so you still have to do the first method to get this result all right so after rendering this is the results i had and you now is, you can see the difference between the first method and the second method all right all right all right so thank you guys for um staying with me through all this series of creating a hidden castle with blender and my my next tutorial will be uploading on youtube is so go ahead and subscribe go ahead and like go ahead and uh, go ahead and give me your comment if there is any and remember to send me your result the results you get to my email i'll i'll i will check it out later on thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for being with me through all this series